you're the senior guy on the farm, you get to ride in the ranger. When you're a peasant, you get to walk. Take a little step back in time. This is how my grandpa collected sap from the trees. Kind of the process I was explaining in the previous video. Old school way of doing it. Single nail, two old homemade taps, and a galvanized bucket. Did it that way for years. upgraded from being a peasant. I can ride in the back. As you can see, each tree is different. Some produce more sap than others, some produce less. So some bags are gonna be overflowing. We've already seen a couple, and some are maybe half full. All dependent on the tree. Mom and dad are a little more camera shy than I am. I like to talk. But as you can see, what we're doing is taking the sap that we've collected from the trees that we put into this tank. And right now it's going through a filtering process. And dad's gonna explain a little more about that. But taking it from the tank, running it through the filter into the big holding tank. And from there, it's got even more filtration uh, that it's going to be going through before we even pump it into our cooker. After collecting the sap on the woods, we bring it up here and we actually filter through an old milk filter. This uh, used to sit on milk cans or bulk milk tanks. Um, this comes out and there's a filter right here that we use to filter any of the, the stuff that gets in for, out in the woods. The last couple of days we've collected over 200 gallons of sap which we pumped into this tote here. Uh, we're going to be, today we're going to be running through a reverse osmosis system which takes out, according to the manufacturer, up to 40% of the water that we wouldn't have to boil off. This just separates it, um, so we end up with concentrated um, sap coming into the evaporator inside the building. So what it's going to run into is going to go through a pre-filter, four membranes that uh, separates the water and makes the concentrated sap. Concentrated sap is going to go in here. The other, um, what, just a plain water is coming out and it's coming into here, it's clean, it's filtered, you could drink it right out of there. We use it for cleaning up after we're done cooking and boiling for the day. Well, that's about it for part two. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy process. Go out with the ranger in the tank, take the bags off the tree, fill up the tank, bring it back to the holding, the bigger holding tanks, run it through the reverse osmosis machine, and then we're ready to pump it into the cooker. And that'll be showcased next on the next video. And uh, we'll show you the process and how we cook it down. And we're almost right to that point where we can put it in bottles and have ready for pancakes and waffles. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.